Hello, thanks for coming back. This video is for the final episode of my playthrough for The Wolf Among Us. If you've missed other episodes, don't worry, they're in this playlist, and I recommend that you watch them before this one. Sit back and enjoy. I mean, your eyes and the teeth, you're not really supposed to do that, are you? Thank you, I appreciate it. Not if I can avoid it. Oof. No. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us? The whole section the was really slaves. sad. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. That was my fault. I uh, for, hey, I forgot you're to not mark really gonna send me to the something farm, on my stream, so it stuttered for a second. That Look, was my fault. Yeah, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> Ooh. Oh God, Big B! I took a beating in that no alley. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We gotta go. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? Oh, boy. We have a great deal to discuss. There's no way this conversation could go well. There's no way. You've come a long way. Oh, boy. You must be tired. You don't know I'll get the bad ending. You don't know. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? I'm not drinking shit from you. You probably poisoned it. It makes it. a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. I'm here for one reason. Love you too. It's not to eat your fucking food. Really? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff. For the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Ooh, murder? Yeah, what he would got you call the wholesale gun. corruption of Fable Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man. Well-moneyed. People do like to take their shots at me. Don't try to play me. Oh. It won't work. I'm not trying to control you. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. But I can understand the confusion. And I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. Uh -huh. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late. I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. An unfortunate bit of business? You're going to tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. Hmm, I don't know. You really shouldn't if he worry yourself. Cares about said, my job. 
I've got this under control. No. I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? Mm, yes. The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. You think I'm scared of you? <laughs> You're nothing more That's than That's enough. Oof. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. However, like I said, I'd be handling the matter if mm. you don't mind. Georgie, you got what you wanted, so just sit down now. I think I'll take Georgie with me. Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Oof. Does it matter? Look, yes, it the does. Fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. How do you misinterpret? What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis! You're just gonna let him do this? Ooh, yeah, that's what happens. They don't fucking care so about you, you, Georgie. Say, Sheriff, can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking don't start make this. Any uh... trouble, Georgie. Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage? Uh, all right, I'll let's negotiate. Talk. You can't just hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one who the shit do you think you fuck us around? Get the fuck out of here. I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him. Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. Oh, I'm gonna watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit. Yeah, but I want to arrest not both taking of them. Me anywhere. I do. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. I what are you saying? Man. I'm running out of patience, crooked man. I don't have time to fuck around here. This could have gone so well. I don't know if it could. But you just had to complicate things. To speak the truth, I've never yeah, been Yeah, the crooked man, his eyes Why all fucked up. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh, Bloody Mary's coming. <laughs> oh, she's Did such I a... miss anything good? Oh, she's such a badass. Well, look at you all fixed up. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh. Okay. The big guns are coming out. Ah, well, he's closest to me. Take this! Oh no. Oh. Ah. Oh no. What is that? You're done, Wolf. No, I'm not. We're pretty much done here. Oh. I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Oh! Stabbed his brother. And I stabbed him. Oh, oh God. This way. I gotta jump through that portal. Oh, actually, I'll bash him in, I guess. Go through the portal! No major injuries, I'll take it. Oh, shit! I know.
completely normal in low key. <laughs> one after i feel like i should have chose the crooked man but i thought it was a trap i was thinking that they were trying to confuse you into thinking like which car was georgie's and i was like ah it's this car and the other one was the fucking crooked man exactly i was like who do you think is jumping on your car i don't need to examine your car i gotta go fucking uh, I got- I'm busy. I can't look at your car. Come on! We can't stay here! Uh, uh, hmm. I wonder where on. this trail of blood goes. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna listen first. How did this happen, Georgie? How did- can you stand up? Uh, it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. <sighs> oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. Or it won't be your fault. No. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Hello, Bigby. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh. Crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. That isn't... Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. <laughs> Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. Yeah, you what? can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault, then. I you didn't fucking- ah! You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf, too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? Ooh. I did what I had to! You can't fucking blame me for that! Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Ooh. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <clears throat> so he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. Yeah. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do what it again, because <laughs> it's not my fault. The crooked man gave the order. He told me to kill them, and then he fucking sold me out. Yeah. That's not my problem. Oh, I get it. When a pretty little girl shows up at your door wanting help, you've got all the time in the world. 
But when I've got something to say, it's not your problem. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the best answer. Well, fuck you. Go ahead and kill me then. But it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. Yeah, he is. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. Mm. Oh. No. oh, his intestines but are. What like was I supposed out. to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them. What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if free Lily meant she had to die. Do you still think I had a fucking choice? What are you doing? Wait. Oof. How is she involved in all this? Have you this? played many Telltale this games? Yes, I've played all of the Walking Dead games more than I the can The girl count. with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. But other Couldn't than that, off, this is the only other game I've played it. by them. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. You can't fucking blame me. You're not innocent here either. I know that. But did it have to be like this? Wait, so you've been helping this asshole? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. They you made a Minecraft understand. game? Nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started, anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We I heard of the Batman one. Once, Haven't played it. Nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. And the crooked man showed up and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> if you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her then. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day. Stop it. I told you. Sometimes all your options are shit. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe yes, the witches can help. Um, like I don't I'm not play even Minecraft, here. Please. So I didn't know you there was a story mode. Hard for you? My life. I never such played a Minecraft fucking before. Burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. I wasn't really You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. Oh boy. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. Ooh -hoo. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Narissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian. Don't. Oh. 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 Vivian. Oh, no. Fuck. No, well. no, no, no. Um, Why'd you have to do that, hmm. Vivian? Vivian. Shit. Just. Um. Yes. Hmm. So, I've only played this game one time, and, uh, hmm, she kind of killed herself in front of me both Vivian, times, so... I didn't fucking mean it. Didn't know just... she could oh. live. Kind of thought that was a plot point. Oh. <laughs> Shogun, I didn't know she could live. Oh, my God, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, boy, I mean, it's not funny. That was... She killed herself, so it's not funny. But, like, I, I really oh, thought that was a plot fuck. point. Get up. Oh my god. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. Oh, I didn't know there's really a story in Minecraft, so that's interesting. You learn something new I'm every day. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. 
Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. The bad ending is near. Hey, give me really faith. fuck him up for me, all right? He's gonna have uh, it worse. Uh, Don't worry. <coughs> Good. Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. Do you want to finish me off now? <laughs> or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one? That's not who I am. Before. Prove it then. No more games, all right? We both know how this ends. <laughs> mm, thank you for the follow. Just make it quick. I'll kill him. All right, Georgie. Wait, Netflix even made something for Minecraft? I didn't know that either. Okay, so a lot of people are dying left and right. Leave it to the last episode to murder everyone by accident. So, wait, she could really live? How, how does she live? <laughs> I had no idea. I really thought it was a plot point that she just dies. I've never seen her live before. Okay, so uh, I've already killed two people. <laughs> it's okay. You cho chose to kill the Georgie. I chose not. Wait, I didn't choose to kill Georgie. Okay, Melanie, this game. Is, do you know what this game is? It's about uh, fables like Big Bad Wolf and Snow White and them. And they live in uh, New York City, but they disguise themselves to look human. And there is, and no, I'm, I was serious. I didn't know she could live. <laughs> and um, shit. And there's this guy, the crooked man, and Bloody Mary. They're the bad people, and they're doing like underground shit. And I'm trying to catch them for murders, but I, I'm murdering other people. <laughs> You didn't get it, did you? Liv asking how Vivian can stay living. Wait, I didn't get what? Oh, haha, <laughs> Yoda. You got me. Good joke. Good joke, Yoda. Man, I didn't even think to click on the other car because I thought it was a fake out. Like if I clicked, I jumped on the wrong car, it would be uh, a trap and I would have lost Georgie, you Vivian. You used to be something. They used to fear you. Oh. They'd hide anywhere. I didn't know that, Captain. shivering bodies with bent. Very interesting. I was not a fan of the, like the Bandersnatch thing, the choose your own adventure thing on uh, Netflix. So that was terribly done. Oh, uh -huh, great. They're making silver bullets. Silver. The big bad wolf. This is so eerie. Oh. Where'd you come it's from? There's no time. mirror. There's no sure. mirror in here. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you've made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. My associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Like she's gonna Make take orders this from worse. me. Aw, he doesn't wanna play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother ever teach you manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? <laughs> oh, come on! Ooh. Is that the best you can do? Baby, come on! Okay. 
it's definitely an interesting concept to make like a TV show a uh, game like more interactive but uh the only one I know they've done other ones I know like uh, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt had one and I love that show but I never watched it kill that bitch girl I'm gonna try I'm gonna kill her real good <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, I guess we'll go that way. I don't know. This is so tense. Oh my god. Oh, we gotta walk. Oh. <laughs> I'm literally right out in the open. Ugh. Idiot. Oh! What? The fuck was that? symbols on her though Oh, 
Well, I think I did pretty fine. Dude, I'm naked and he's just staring at me. I like that sign that said this Hello, job Bigby. has gone zero days You're without an tired. incident. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six r- I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, Oof. there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. Do I? I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. Interesting. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to be There's diplomatic. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of them. Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth, or do you just want to look like the hero? This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. I... You really think I'm that stupid? Uh -huh. I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. I'm bringing him in. What do you say? If I go Fine. for it, he's just gonna shoot me. I'm sure know. Miss White will be pleased. Such ah. a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <gasps> oh my god, you can really kill him here? Your punishment will follow. Thank you for caring about my stretches. I gotta get ready for trial, you know what I'm saying? Would, if you kill him there, do you just push him out the window? I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. 
God. Motherfucker. Yeah, spit on him, Gren. I actually have to Are read about okay? that ending because I it's didn't. It's been hours. I didn't know you could kill him there. Fine. I guess you've been worse. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know. This is the first time Prince Lawrence has been here glad for me. I'm you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting what do you for? Have to you say for murderer. My you wife killed is Lily. She was my Where the fuck do you and get off? Faith? You think you have the right to just do this to people? Said, You're a fucking sir, crook. Yes. You should be fucking ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder As of I Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yes, yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? Can yeah. you insist? Yes, no way. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, the including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. A Aiding and providing ass. monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Not interrupting. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. I know you're responsible. You've been behind all of this from the beginning. So cut the shit. We all know who you are. We know what you've Just done. Just give it up already. The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get on but we with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. I wouldn't uncuff this is him. Ridiculous. Hoo hoo. Dinner time. You have What's the floor. Up? Things are Thank quite you, tense White. right now. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, are you gonna get to your point or what? Yeah, Holly, fucking Egamon. Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he hey, could Hey, Tash, what's up? He murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. Tell this is such bullshit! You've always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. How do you really? misinterpret murder? Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? I was attacked. Yeah, and your goons attacked me. 
Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes. This man is loyal to the end. Oh my god. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man just to save someone. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll you end up dead. I have to trick them? Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that. Hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. Oh. You're not serious! I know what you do to people. I've seen it firsthand. What you did to Faith. The way you manipulated her. Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned Oof. you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look oh, out for you. No. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Oh, no, really? I don't know if I'm doing a good job. What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that mattered. Really. I don't know if I'm doing a good job. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor <sighs> fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my oh, tree to start working. Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? I know what you're doing. Try reading the after joke. Work. Afterwards, right? Like, tell me a joke. Sometimes people. Pip we're likes to be talked to. to. Talk oh, about we're this. not? <laughs> Big Bay just This means is important, and I'm glad it's being talked about. You know why I asked him to destroy your tree. You were working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. Shit, why you is can not lie working? to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. Well, that was really We've aggressive. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear I don't know right why it's away, not working. But I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. Aw, Tess, We're I don't know. Is it buffering for anyone can. else? Or is it just the Tess? The man's <laughs> been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. Maybe the bot he took is down. Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish I haven't punish seen the Streamlabs thing say anything. So, Streamlabs might be down. You're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Ooh. Very Why is he good. Fucking... Very good. The sentiment is surely is appreciated, Miss White, but it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the. Georgie murders. was working for you. Bigby got a confession. A that... confession that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke, especially given Bigby's history. What are you talking about? Snow? So, are we done? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? Ooh. What do you mean there's no evidence? 
What are you talking about? There's no maybe, evidence. Maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. <sighs> how is it just... Of me? course it's right. This man tormented all of you oh for profit. God. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just them. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Where are you going with this? Oh, no. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? What did I How do? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my do, watch. I didn't do that. Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? That was Bluebeard, not me. I'm sorry, he Tess. Was a murder suspect. I will put this Besides, on YouTube Crane tomorrow. Was still deputy mayor when that happened. So don't worry. Right before you, can still you decided watch it. to kidnap him. Oh shit. It was Drop for his phone. own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, fuck, Crane. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This is right. Oh, please. Oh, no. This isn't the point. Now you hear me, dinner we'll deal time? with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know... The laws apply when we need them Bluebeard, to. okay. Please. What's that supposed to mean? I mean a certain oh, level I of privilege should thing. be afforded Oops. to... To who? This is how it's always been. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the ah, promise shit. of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Can you Chitty. go into your OBS Treating and increase you mic delay by a hundred? What do you mean? Oh, it's to out of your sync. Own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Hold on. Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the Bigby? Miss White! Oh, I, n I didn't, uh, I didn't, because I'm reading the chat. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wonder. she doing here? I'd like to, I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. She has something to say, and we're going to listen. Thank Go you for right the ahead. lurk. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. My dear, I don't Just know shut up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? <laughs> Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Oh, I'm so Didn't stressed you right now. Freed from the ribbons. Pip, maybe Pip is life. asleep. I don't know. I'm I gotta sorry, look um, into that. I don't think Nerissa. My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be. Just... He ordered them dead. I wonder if my this any of my fucker. other commands are working. Faith if you do exclamation point, quote, I was in the goddamn room quote. when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. This just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other sound. girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Well, Did rip. You know? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. Ah, that works. So that's it. Right? <laughs> Run down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. <clears throat> what, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Ah. Uh. Well done, then. 
Oh, Pip's now. not in the chat. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison Thank him. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate forever, it. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. Will you? I appreciate magic? you all. I That's not good enough. Thank you, you for showing up. During the first of time, we get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Ooh, I like Clearly, your. Clearly, we're all having the trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we. This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. Why not? Look, Oof. I'm making the call. Why should you? He is the only officially appointed representative here. Ooh, right? Ooh. Bigby should decide. That makes okay. sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? Thank you for the this sub. I appreciate it. What the want, Miss White. Okay, Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. Let's lock him up. Yes, Sheriff. Rip his head off! What you think is right. Teach I'm gonna him lock a fucking him up. lesson. I'm gonna lock no. him up. He has to... Everyone, I'm... Not this way. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> there you are. I hope you all... Remember this moment. What? Think of me when you try to sleep. I won't lie, guys. You said I you had a way to threw keep his ass down people. there the first Wait, time I played. What he's serious. done? You just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. Ooh, ooh. Turn him into a crow. Uh, I won't lie. The first time I played, I did not even hesitate. I threw his ass down the wishing, witching well. So I wanted to play a different way. Ah, uh, you know, fixing a microphone, you know, deciding the fate of people. Really hard work. You got to stretch. Not what I was expecting. Wait, what the Morning, fuck? Crooked man. He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Oh. Thanks, Greenleaf. Let's just call it even. Hey, Sheriff. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. Well, I don't Ooh. know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. I have right. to reset the settings, or is it perfect? This fucking line. We can have a post, uh... Oh, uh, okay. Mr. Wolf? Well, let me know Fly if left it his keys. is good or bad. Listen, Snow, uh, can we talk? I, I wanted to... I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take <sighs> care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. You know, okay. That actually went pretty well. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. <laughs> the pig's got beer. Oh, Garlin! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake! I don't <laughs> give a shit! You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Moaning, Sheriff. Hey, man, I gave, you, I gave you the money. 
Shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? <laughs> Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her, I don't know my mouse. Nice. There we go. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm oh my sure god. She'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about Aww. ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river. It feels so bad, so but I gave Toad all Even the money every time. time. Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry. It won't be so bad. Oh. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? Oh. We're all set. Oh, this is so sad. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? How should I know? Saying goodbye. Why is she still wearing the ribbon though? That's so weird. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. It's just. It's okay. I get it. Oh, so emotional. Oh, I can see it now. My mic and my camera look a lot Listen, better I, now I that everyone pointed that out. <laughs> I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We we're gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, I we had dirt about that. on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I, I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? It's okay, just calm down. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, the smile. I see it. I see you. I don't know what happened. But that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us... We're sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? That 
back at the well, you I said. I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. <laughs> it was enough. for the best. I guess, I guess it worked out in the end. I can't hold that against you. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... Hey, Tina, thanks for I stopping by, everyone. Tina, has, she made the emote with a hip on me. She here, made all the badges. And I left her, just hoping that maybe if Tina I is save the them, goat. Why would you do that? I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. So you, you started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. No. Or Lily. No. Nobody it matters cares about me. us. Not that really. won't happen it's anymore. Going to be different now. I Thank promise. you for the follow. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. Yeah, we I don't will. Know. Yeah, we Seems will. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or Have anyone. confidence. I just can't Big win B, come these on. people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Big B. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... I didn't like that different. option, but I didn't like huh. any of the options. Things are always different. Look, Big B. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from Hell where yeah. I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. Huh. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. I've done you. a good job. <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Does that line ring a bell with anyone? I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around. Wolf. So how about that ending? I, I think I handled that as best as I could. The first time that I played, like I said in the video, I just threw him down the witching well with no regard for any of the consequences. And this time, I think I had more people alive too. So I really hope that you enjoyed this game as much as I did. I don't know what game we're gonna play next, but if you follow me on Twitch, you'll know immediately. If you liked this playthrough, like the video. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Hello, thanks for coming back. This video is for the final episode of my playthrough for The Wolf Among Us. If you've missed other episodes, don't worry, they're in this playlist, and I recommend that you watch them before this one. Sit back and enjoy.